AJ? Where are you? You were having a nightmare. Same one you used to have all the time. About what happened at the ranch. I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. Hey, what do you have there? Did you have a bad dream too? You've been having them a lot lately. I feel safer like this, not sleeping. I want to stay up forever. I probably could. Like 18 days, if I tried hard. I don't know about that. I've never met anyone who could go more than a few days without sleep. Then I'll be the first. If we were in danger, then I would. Ah! Here, let me help you back to bed. No. You don't have to keep checking on me. You always say, be tough. So I am. You say, be strong. And I will. All the time. You're the toughest boy I know. Probably the toughest boy in the whole world. I'm not as tough as you. Well, no one's as tough as me. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to do all the hard work. Showing them I'm good and smart. Smarter than them. I'm gonna help you more, so you don't have to do everything. Where are you going? On patrol. Patrol? For danger. Bad people. Monsters. Whatever you have nightmares about. What if you stayed here instead? If you go back to sleep, I'll stay awake and make sure no more bad dreams come. You can't do that. You're not magic. <laughs> How do you know? Maybe I have magic and never told you. <laughs> no, you don't. What is it? Can I... Could I maybe sleep in your bed? Like I did when I was little? Yeah. Come on up. I I'm not scared. Just tired. Makes sense to me. Think you need that?
AJ? What? You're still little. Yeah, I know. You ready to work today, kiddo? Bad dreams always make me more tired. Me too. I slept better in your bed. It's my turn to be lookout. I have other stuff I need to do. What stuff? Nothing. It's just... It's important. God damn it, Lewis. Take this seriously for once in your life. I've been taking this seriously for fucking days. Almost two weeks. So has everyone. Get over yourself. Hey. I thought Lily and Abel would show up days ago. I wonder why they're holding off. Don't know. All I wanted was more time to prepare, but now this waiting sucks and everyone's on edge. Need my help? Yeah, actually. Could you check on everyone and make sure they're doing shit right? Sure, I'm on it. Thanks, Clem. I should go board up the back hallway, since Lewis isn't gonna do it. Pretty clear message. Still wouldn't want to pledge to that. What are you doing? Mm, test. Gotta see if the bomb will go off. This little thing won't kill anybody. Just gotta see if it'll light. Yeah, it better. Our whole plan rests on that little thing. If they get in, I'll need you to set the bomb off while I distract them. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, something like that. I, I read that on one of those stupid inspirational posters. <laughs> School used to have them everywhere. As soon as things went to shit, I tore them all down. Stupid shit. Uh, could you? Uh, my hands all fucked up from messing with it all day. Stand back. Fucking shit. If it doesn't work. Fucking shit! I'm sure you'll get it. Keep trying. It's not like I got all the time in the world to play scientist and figure this shit out. I'll figure it out. I just need more time. Alone time. To think. I get it. I'll leave you alone. Thanks, though. For helping. Nothing left we can use. Wonder if they ever tried to rebuild it after it burned down. Hopefully this at least creeps the raiders out. Do you think Sophie and Minnie might be with them when they get here? I don't know. Maybe. I'm doing watch, Clem, for danger. Like patrol? No, Clem. Lookout's totally different than patrol. How so? You don't walk. Oh, right. What's going on? In a few weeks, or days, or hours, the raiders will be here. Burn down our place and steal or kill us. And then it won't matter how much I sucked at this. 
The raiders aren't gonna burn anything or steal anybody. We'll stop it. You sound like Marlin. I mean, not about fighting, but when he was trying to cheer us all up. For years, I sat around making stupid jokes, playing stupid games, while my best friend was left with all the responsibility, all the tough calls, all the sleepless nights, and eventually, a bullet in the head. And I didn't do a damn thing about it. And then when you tried to tell us what he was really like, and AJ shot him, I blamed you, both of you. If I could take it back, I would. I knew that the day you got back, I, I still do. I forgive you. I understand why you did it. I'm not angry. He was my best friend, almost like my brother, but the things he did, they were fucked up. Here, you take it. Are you sure? I mean, it's Marlin's. Yeah, it was. And he used it to defend the school before... Before he stopped. Go ahead. Try it. In that direction, please. And just so you know, I'm totally laughing out loud when you miss. Remind me to never piss you off while I'm standing at a moderate distance with a big red circle painted on my chest. You want to come back and practice more? Just let me know. Okay? Sounds good. And Clem, thank you. For all of it. Back hallway's secure. How is everyone? Okay, or, you know, a total fucking mess. They're ready for this. Really? Really. The school is defended, and everyone's eager to get the fight over with. Because you're boring and your idea is stupid! Oh, I'm being stupid? You're the one who can't think straight. If you could hear yourself- Guys, what the fuck? Violet told us to work on the traps together, but a sim won't listen to anything I say! That doesn't mean you have to scream at each other. Stay out of this. I have an idea for duffel bags filled with bricks. We drop them on the raiders, if they get to the admin building. Willie here wants to use a giant, idiotic swinging log to take out one raider at most. It's completely stupid. You're stupid! You're being childish! I am not! I'm trying to help! A sim is right. We should use his brick trap. It sounds more practical. Mine's practical, too! No, it isn't! It's exactly the kind of thing a child would think of. Especially a child who has no idea what he's up against. What the shit? Dude, you okay? Yeah, fine. Shit! Christ. We'll all kill each other before the raiders even get a fucking chance. All right, what we need is something to break the tension. Hey, buddy, how's it hanging? Dude, fuck off. Sulking in the corner isn't gonna help us fight off the raiders. Or turn that frown upside down. You get more annoying every day. Regardless, I've come up with a plan to make everybody feel better. And that plan is a game. Come on, we gotta play. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, we haven't played a game in weeks since that night with Marlin. I mean, if you want to go ask Ruby to come play, I don't mind waiting. Shut up, dude! I swear to God. You've got a crush on Ruby? What do we plan? Truth or dare. You don't use cards in Truth or Dare. You do in this version. Everyone draw. Highest card gets to ask, lowest card has to answer. <laughs> this should be good. Let's see. Truth. Marry, fuck, kill. Bye. Fine. 
Mary Flip Kill. Ruby, a Sim, or James, that guy who saved you. Oh my god. You gotta answer. Them's the rules. Let's see. I would marry... A Sim. I, uh, thanks? I don't think you're his type. He's into redheads. Dude, shut <laughs> up. I would, um, flip. Flip, 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 flip. Flip, flip, flip. flip. James, that's an interesting choice. Funny. You pronounce horrifying differently than I do. Didn't you say he wore skin? Like, human skin? I wonder if he'd take it off to, uh... You know what? Never mind. So that means you're killing... This is amazing. Ruby! Wow, poor Ruby. Poor, kind-hearted Ruby. A sim would happily marry you. Damn it, Lewis. This is great. We're laughing, we're bonding. It's a nice break from thinking about homicidal assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. Not if you bring it up. On to round two. I win. And poor Sim loses. Definitely a dare. Uh, okay. Do your worst. You have to ask Ruby for a kiss. Seriously? The most legitimate of dares. I think we all learned something about our good friend Asim today. Mainly that he has no romantic charm whatsoever. Shut up. Look sharp, y'all. It's time for round three. I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Asim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Clem. Anyone here you like-like? Seriously? Like-like? What are you, six? Seven, thank you. Well, I guess that's my answer. Clem has feelings for no one and nothing. A Sim! You've got the high card, and the loser is... Tennessee. What's something you've never told anyone because you were afraid they'd make fun of you? You got this. I, um... I, I think... I think walkers won't always be around. They'll go away someday. Cause the world goes in cycles, right? Ice Age, Stone Age, um, some other ages. So it's like that. This age will end. And another one will start. An age without walkers? Like it used to be. It'll be better. Why is everyone looking at me like that? Did I ruin the game? I remember right after the walkers showed up. Everyone was convinced it'd be over in a few weeks. We thought someone would stop it. Save the day. Someone always does. But they didn't. Now there's more walkers than people. What's wrong, AJ? Uh, I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. I don't remember a time before monsters. You know what, little dude? It's okay that you don't. Believe me, the world before this one was pretty shitty. And that feels like a good place to call it. We should finish up our work anyway. It's getting dark. You're on lookout? Yep. Clementine's got it after me. Can I come? Of course you can, little guy. Hey. Hey. You maybe want to help me with the brick trap? Yeah, I got some ideas. 
cool. I'm sure they'll help. Sorry I punched you. It's okay. It's a pretty good punch. I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. You could always help me instead. I am on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project I want to try, but I need a second person. Thought I could tickle the ivories one last time before all hell breaks loose. That's a good idea. Haven't heard music in a while. Many people would say you're not about to hear it now. So, how do you feel about our imminent deaths? We won't necessarily die, of course. We could also be kidnapped, injured, maimed, maybe eaten. The possibilities are endless. I'm... Keeping it together, it isn't easy, but the alternative is giving up, and I'm not doing that. Oh man, my whole give up plan is shot to hell. If you're not gonna, I definitely can't. So, what's this project you needed me for? Sounds awful, right? All we need to do is tune it. That's why I need you. When I get the signal, play the A key. Uh, yeah, which one's the A key? You know, the A key. Next to the B key. After the G key. Good. That definitely helped. Now press the pedals while I make some more adjustments.
Great, that part's golden. Quick, now blow on the strings. I know, sounds weird, but blow on them. Cooling the temperature helps set them in harmony. <sighs> okay, great. That did nothing, because that's not at all part of how you tune a piano. <laughs> but it was funny! It could have done something, on like a molecular level. <laughs> you are super cute. Cute? Wow, uh, that's, uh, yay! <laughs> Glad to be of service. What are you playing? And don't say a piano. A song that I wrote. Really? What's it called? I don't know yet. There. First time played. We should mark the occasion. You done tattooing that piano? I think you've got a future in Whitland. I like saying Whitlin. Whitlin. Okay, I'll stop. Oh, that's a, that, that's a potato? It's a heart. Yep, I see. It's a heart. That's super cool. Really cool. So, hey, I'm gonna dig myself into a deep hole from which I'll never emerge. Cool? Cool. Huh. Time to get serious. Serious? Wow. You feeling okay? Not really, nope. Mm -mm. Thanks for being here. Listening. Blowing on the strings. Coming here to help me with my project, even after everything I put you through. And everything I had to work through for myself. Everyone hears the jokes, the piano, and after that, they stop listening. You didn't. So, um... I like you a lot. Like, like you. As more than a friend. <laughs> no jokes? Nothing? Figured out what to call the song. Clementine, obviously. You know, because I like fruit. And I like you even more, so... There. Gotta admit, of all the things I saw coming, you having a crush on me was not it. You stabbing me in my sleep. Yes. Declaration of crush. No. <laughs> Clem, you out here? I have to go. I've got lookout duty. Well, you wouldn't want to miss that. Sounds like way too much fun. <laughs> 